Hello everybody, this is Budridge and this is Ulf and selected text and this will be the first video where we upload files and the file we will upload in this video will be a file containing selected text and then uh, next part will be we upload a screenshot and then we upload screen recordings but we start with selected text I prepared this a bit with the project here with some with two scripts we've got the selection to file and we got the ulf script the ulf script will be like the uh, main script of, of this whole series because i want to to do it like this to have one script that just uploads the file it doesn't care if it's a video if it's an image or a text file or whatever it is it just takes a file as an argument and uploads that to 0x0 zero zero, uh, and then uh, puts the url in the clipboard <coughs> The nice thing with this approach is that uh, if uh, the, we change file hosting service here, then we can just edit this ULF script and we don't have to edit all other script that uses this uh, uploading functionality. Learn that the hard way. Uh, okay, let's start. So ULF needs a, a file to upload. And in this episode, we want a file containing selected selected text so let's uh, start with that have this selection to file script here and to create the file out of selected text i will use excel which is a, a program that's really good for this uh, it's not installed by default uh, i think in in most systems but you can uh, it should be available in in your package manager <coughs> And it works like this. You just select something and then you can do Excel output. And it prints whatever you had selected. We can select something else. It will just print that to standard output here. That's one thing you can do with. You, you, you can do a lot of thing with things with this Excel, but this is what we use now. Because now uh, all we need to do is basically to redirect this output to a file and then we have created a file with the current selection. So that's excellent. Um, we could, yeah, let's do that. That's, that's fine. So let's start here by Excel output to a file. We don't really have a file here specified, so, so let's do that as well. We create a variable called f dollar uh, one. So the first argument to this script selection to file can be a path to a file. But if we don't specify a file, we can just assign a temporary uh, or default val value here. Selected text is what I've been using here. And also notice here now that I use uh, the dash and not the equal sign here. And that is because these positional or, uh, arguments, $1, $2, $0 and so on, they are read only. So you are not allowed to assign a value to these, but, you can, but this will assign a default value to F, but never to 1. Can be interesting to know that. So now redirect this to F. Great. We can test this. Can just select these checkboxes here. Let's do it again. I don't know how that works out there. And then selection to file. Typo. What the? I don't know, I, uh, some typo here, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. Whatever. And there, now it executed the script in 12 milliseconds. And we can see here in selected text, we got the last selected text. If I select something else, do the same command, it will update this file to the content of the selection. And it works with command line selections and whatever, you know. Great. This is weird. Ah, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, okay. Um, then last thing I want to add here is to just print the path to the file here. Echo F. So now selection to file. Now it also prints 
uh, the path here. And that means that now we can use this like this. Ulf uh, is the content of the output of selection to file. There, nothing happens. Why? Ulf doesn't do anything. So if we do an Ulf and then echo, I am Ulf, and now do this command. Ulf, I am Ulf, but it also uh, executes this command here now. So if we do some other select, we select this uh, comment section here in Ulf, and the, then execute this command. I am Ulf, but if we look into selected text now, we can see we have those uh, comments in, in the file. Uh, and Ulf also knows about this file because that's $1 here now. So let's do something similar here. F is equal to $1. But here we don't assign a default value. We need to specify a file for Ulf, otherwise it will exit. And we will do that here by creating a test. Uh, dash F uh, $F. If this file exists, or if it doesn't exist, do this. And here we do a simple stupid echo here with an uh, error message. Uh, the file uh, $f doesn't exist and exit one semicolon. I know this, this looks a bit weird here with the semicolon and the curly bra braces and stuff, but we need to put this inside one block like this. Otherwise, these uh, ands here will get weird and we might exit the script ac accidentally, even if the file exists. But when you put it in a block like this, it will all of this will only get executed uh, in connection to this OR. Okay, so now if we do ulf selection to file, we get I am ulf because the file do exist. But if we just execute ulf, the file blank doesn't exist and the file blah, 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 doesn't exist but i am wolf because bash rc do exist great uh, test the file exists and now when we know that we can upload the file uh, to 0x0 and we can use this command that we used in the last video with curl um, but we need to specify the file here as an argument and then we just do $f we need to change these single quotes to double quotes now otherwise it will not expand the f here but this this should basically work uh, and it will uh, upload the file and print the URL to standard out that means we can store the output of this curl command in uh, a variable that we can call URL. And then we can do, instead of echo I am Ulf, we can echo the URL here now. Uh, and now it should work. Let's upload something not completely use, useless, like my i3 config file here, for instance. Or let's do this first, clean this thing here, select everything, control A, and then uh, ulf, selection to file, there, and here we have a link, I open this link uh, in Vivaldi, and there is Luke Smith. Uh, yeah, I guess I should mention that, that he recently created a video here about uh, uh, plumbing in Linux. Uh, and he uses, he does something very similar to what we are doing in this video in a way. And I, I know it's, it's, it's kind of a coincidence, but I know about Luke's channel, of course. And this script is, is uh, very different in a way. It, 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 uh, it um, yeah, whatever. But I know there are <laughs> more than one si similarity between what I'm showing you here and this video. Whatever. Uh, we got the link in our clipboard. Shift P will open that link in a new tab. And here it is. This is this. It's online. It's here. It works. Great. But we get this weird output here. This is from uh, uh, curl. We can get rid of that. 
quite easily by just adding a lowercase s here before the f. That means it will uh, be silent. So it will not print any unnecessary uh, output like this. So that's great, that's great. But uh, last here now, I would like to, uh, because now it prints one thing here, it prints this output to standard out here. So if we would execute this command from uh, with i3, which I like to do actually, I have it here in my i3 config. Uh, now it just execute ulf here without any, um, without any file or anything. So now we should get an, get an error. So if I press super C here now, nothing really happens and we don't know that it failed or anything. So this is something we need to take care of to, to print an error message, uh, not only to, to standard out here, but also as a notify send in case we execute it from i3. Take care of that in the next video, as I said about error messages. And But if we change here now to, uh, uh, let's do this, ulf selection to file. If we add this to that uh, ulf command in my i3 config, if I can find it, there it is. There, save and reload. Now we can use this uh, key, com key combination to upload any selected text. Uh, but if we do so, it will just print this uh, URL to who knows where that ends up, you know. So what I would like is to uh, both print a notification that the uh, upload was successful and also add the URL to our clipboard instead. And that's very easy. We can use Excel for that as well. Uh, and this time we use input instead of output and that is more or less the opposite of, of using the output option because now it takes a standard input and puts the content of standard input into our primary selection. So if we pipe this echo URL here to Excel input that should just put the URL in, in, in our primary selection. And let's also do a notify send here because now we will execute this from uh, with i3 instead um, and then we can say dollar f successfully i don't know probably uh, misspelled that word there uh, successfully uploaded to url there save this and then we can select something we can take this script here upload that to the internet super c TMP selected text successfully uploaded to this uh, 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 URL here. Great. So then I can just control V here now to, to print the URL. This is not the URL. And this is because the clipboard and the primary selection are two different things. To paste things from the primary selection, you, you hit shift and insert. There is the URL. We can also do this now on the command line here and you will see another strange thing uh, or we'll see what happens. Shift insert. There, it prints the, the URL but it also tries to execute this URL as a, as a command. Also not sure here why we got the bin. Ah, that's right. I remember it was not... We see how this looks like if I open this. Maybe this is not allowed, this file now. Like executable files, it was a bit sensitive about that 0x0st, uh, I don't know. But still, yeah, we'll see. No, oh, I have to copy this. Copy, P. There, no, here it is. Uh, but what I wanted to get to, when we press the shift insert there, after we put our selection in, in the, uh, in the uh, 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 primary selection, Bash tried to execute the, 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 the link and we don't want, want it to do that. Um, and it, the reason it does so is because, yeah, we could do this. We copy this and then we do an echo. Now we, 
will not whoops there yeah now it doesn't execute it because the echo doesn't work like that but what it what it did was we pasted this link and we with echo here we append a new line to the end of the stream and when we paste this from standard or primary selection uh, we ex actually execute this new line character which means that it's basically pasting the string and then pressing enter and we don't want that so you can execute echo with the n option here and then it will not append the new line another thing is we would like this in our clipboard as well and that is not more difficult than just adding one more of these and do a clipboard and this will uh, add add the url to both uh, both uh, stand primary selection and the clipboard so now everything should work Um, yeah, let's do one final test here. Let's uh, take this secret error script that we will look into in the next video. Select everything, super C, uploaded to this place, go to Vivaldi, hit P, and here we have this file uploaded. And shift insert, prints the URL without any weird stuff. And we should also be able now to do a control V without any weird stuff. Great, it works fine here now. But as I said, as I mentioned several times in the next video, we look into this: how to create great uh, error messages, and this will also uh, uh, have some some um, <laughs> artificial intelligence to see if it is from a terminal or from uh, a key binding, like i3, for example and uh, either print it to, to the terminal output or create a notification so it will be a great video and we do that in the next one and then we continue to create a screenshotting uh, tool as well with our friend Ulf thank you for watching bye